Yo, what's going on? Coach Reed's back for installment number two of Built For This. As I mentioned, my mission is to be able to deliver this blog as succinct and precise and also real rap raw as possible. So I wanna make sure I'm able to sit down every week and at least do some type of talking in this way, really just summing up my week and what it's been like and what I'm going through and maybe even drop some, uh, some words of wisdom but also be able to show um, some B-roll of what my week is like. And so one thing for this last week, this is March, gosh, March 28th through April 3rd. Um, a couple things that I've been trying to think about is what's the best way for me to be able to do this? Like what is the, not easiest, but a way that I could really be consistent. And remember I told y'all, continue to watch if you feel like it because it's going to get better because as I grow I'm trying to figure out what's the best way do I want to use my um my zv1 to do a lot of stuff do I want to use my iphone like how do I mix it together what allows me to stay consistent without having to um do too much that's my biggest thing is I don't want to do too much while I'm doing this because if it comes too much I ain't gonna do it if I have to edit too much I ain't gonna do it so um because I'm doing everything else so that's that. Like I said, stay up to date. Um, keep tapping in if you feel like you enjoy it. Obviously, do all that fun stuff like subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Um, but anyways, this is the build for this uh, vlog. And this is installment number two. And this last week was um, fun. I enjoyed it. It was a good week. Um, I ate good. I'm going to show you some of that in a little bit. Um, but I started the week off with a personal retreat. I talked about that on the last one. And the personal retreat was fabulous in every single way. Um, you can see here that I went to a beautiful hotel. It was actually one of the best hotels I've ever stayed at. Um, <laughs> and I've definitely stayed at some pretty bad hotels before. Um, I've definitely played myself. Ask me for the stories. I've woken up with rats in my hotels. All the above. Not fun. Um, so I really wanted to be able to um, treat myself with the ability to stay in this hotel to start this next quarter off and so this whole experience was um, amazing um, it was in downtown Dallas and so I on the first day there that I was able to walk over to um, Brunchaholics which was really really good highly recommend it um, I got the so food taco or the so food burrito but I got the catfish one I recommend the catfish and not the, the chicken was cool, but the catfish just hit a little bit different for me. So if you're ever in Dallas, check out Brunchaholics. It is a black-owned restaurant, and I'm going to make sure I put... Um I'm going to shout out every spot and I put the names of the places I eat because I'm like, yo, I'm a foodie. This is not a food vlog, but your girl eats. So I'm going to make sure I put the names of the places and all that stuff so that way you guys can check them out if you're ever in the areas. Um, so personal retreats, I think, are really important for a lot of different reasons. I used to take them about once a year and I started this practice probably about... Um, six years ago um and it really the importance of them became huge and with my schedule with coaching and things like that i wasn't able to um do them as much or as often and so now that i have a little bit more freedom um and i'm trying to hone in that much more and really stay self-aware and reflect and make sure what i'm doing um, aligns with what i want to be doing i decided to start taking them once a, a quarter so at the end of the quarter, before the next quarter starts, um, I'm going to be taking a personal retreat. What I do on a personal retreat um, for this one specifically or just in general is straight review. Um, thought process. What what am I doing? How am I doing? How did I spend my money? Did I spend my money the way I wanted to spend it? Um, and then also, um, how is my mission? What are my missions going into this next quarter? What are some things I need to focus on more? What are some habits I need to have? What are some distractions that showed up? Did I complete the tasks that I needed to complete? Um, what do I need to do in order to complete them this go around? Um, so I just really want to spend a lot of time with myself. I don't go on any social media. Um, and this, this time, it was actually the final four, so I was able to catch some games. Game, so that was really cool but just spent a lot of time by myself um, still listen to some podcasts but you know sat by the fire drank some wine had some good conversations um, and that was pretty fun as well but um, outside of that it's just a lot of just me time the best thing about this one was the bath this joint right here man uh, it definitely the ambiance of this hotel encouraged me 
to set another level vision for my life. Like those who know, I just bought a house and I love it. It's my dream house for this level for where I'm at. Um, but being able to see just the different aspects of this really was like, yo, like I can have this at my house and that's fire. So uh, it's really inspired me to dream to the next level and I'm going to have a bath like this, similar to this in my next house and I can't wait. Um, I didn't think it was gonna fit all of me and I was up in that joint and did not wanna get out. So highly recommend that people take a personal retreat so they can get refreshed, restored, um, and really just treat yourself, you know, on another level, re-energize yourself as you go into the next quarter. If it's not once a quarter, go once a month. Like I said, I started with months, once, um, sorry, not once a month, but once a, once a year. Start with once a year and then branch out, do more if you feel like you need more. But I will tell you this, uh, at the end of the retreat, on my last day, um, I was like, I'm not going to touch any electronics. I'm going to dive in and just be where I'm at. And I ended up taking another bath, had a really good breakfast, read a book, listened to a podcast. Like it was just a really good morning. And I wanted my stuff to kind of be out of sight, out of mind. Little did I know that that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, I end up cleaning up, put everything together, and I end up leaving and I get home and I realize I left my laptop and that sucked. <laughs> I didn't think that it was going to be so out of sight, out of mind that I literally just left that joint there. So I'm thinking it's a nice hotel. I'm going to call them up, see what's up. They're going to get it. They'll ship it to me to be here by tomorrow. Cool. False. Um, unfortunately, they said that they didn't find it in the room, even though I was able to send them a picture of exactly where it was at. They were like, sorry, they didn't see it. Um, and that sucks. And it sucks for a lot of different reasons. One, because it was my laptop. It was It's an expensive laptop. It had all my information on there. And it, it I just need it. Like, I travel too much to not have a laptop. I use it even when I'm home, so I'm not in my office all the time. Um, but I, one, immediately was like... Felt these feelings of frustration, um, definitely wanted to cry, like for multiple different reasons. But outside of that, I had to get in the right perspective. And it was really like owning, I made a mistake. I didn't double check everywhere. I looked around the, the space, the room, but I didn't realize that I didn't look. There's one corner I didn't look in and that hurt because I'm generally super anal, double check and really on everything and do things in a systematic order that I was just so chill that it didn't happen. So obviously that is just, that's my mistake. I got to own it, take accountability and just kind of move forward. Um, and so that's the perspective that I had. I thank God that I had the the funds to be able to buy another laptop. Um, I know that's not the easiest thing for everybody, but I had to be able to put my mindset there or else I would just be mad at myself, the hotel, and I would just be stuck in this rut and I wouldn't get a new laptop and I'd be freaking out and that's not beneficial. And my mission is to make sure I'm being solution focused, grateful, um, and doing things that are beneficial. So, so there's that, um, out of sight, out of mind, it's probably not always the best thing to do, uh, but I definitely could have used some more mental um, agility or just simply double check the room. God, like they said, double check the room. So there's that. One thing that I was able to do for uh, for Uish and Tasleys this week that I thought was really cool was just really created um, some job descriptions for what I foresee doing and hiring for the third and fourth quarter, maybe even the second. Um, and that was, I felt like it was cool because putting these job descriptions together lets me know that I'm not going to be doing this one by myself for so long and also expediting the process and really laying out who is it that I need, what is it that I need them to do, um, and who fits this description. And so that's something I'd encourage other people to do, um, especially entrepreneurs. If you, you're you on this journey, you don't want to be on this journey by yourself, right? So um, take some time to really lay out some job descriptions for the assistance you need, whether it be social media, content creation, um, or um, just assistance another way. In the future, you'll be able to have a task lead help you do that out, help you with all those things. Uh, but for right now, I'm making sure I get those ducks in a row so we can make sure a task lead is serving you in the future. Another dope thing, I was able to make Superhost again this year or um, this quarter. And so because of that, when you hit Superhost, it ends up like sending your, your listings to the top. So I had a lot of Airbnb scheduling this week, probably like one every day for a couple different things. And so I'm pretty much booked up 
kind of throughout the summer now, which is actually, you know, it's a cool thing to know, but it actually takes a lot of planning and scheduling cleaners and different things like that. Even just in this week, I had about four or five different bookings that I had to manage um, with me being in and out of town. And so um, for those who are interested in Airbnb, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up. It feels good to be able to have um, super host status again for the next quarter in a row. They do them quarterly. Um, and again, it's hospitality. And that's that's pretty much my focus is to make sure I'm delivering good hospitality, communicating ahead of time. Here's what you're going to get and delivering on that. From a hoop perspective, we had a tournament in San Antonio this weekend. And if anybody follows me on IG, you were able to see that I uh, had a welcome to Texas moment at the end of the game in Washington and Cali. I've done this growing up. I've never not done this at the end of the game. When the game is over, you go one, two, three, the other team's name on three, right? So we lose a game. Um, yeah, we ended up losing the game. Definitely could have won. It was uh, it was a tough, hard, hard fought battle. Um, so we go in and I say the other team's name on three. And my team is looking at me like, what are you, what are you taught? Why, why are you saying their name? And I'm like, that's what you do. You say their team's name. And they're like, no, you don't. Long story short, you don't say the other team's name out here in the South after games. Um, and that was something that I learned. And um, it was a funny moment, but they was like, nah, you don't do that. And so here's a clip of me talking to my, uh, all of the rest of the coaching staff um, of CE about the incident. And I thought it just was super funny. So make sure you check this out. <laughs> You know, the end of the game, you either line up and go clap each other's hand, right? Yeah. Well, apparently up on the West Coast, up wherever she from, <laughs> <laughs> apparently they come together as a huddle. Like, our team will come together, one, two, three, say the other team's name. <laughs> what is that? Here we are at uh, 225 Urban Smoke out in San Antonio, and I love Nashville chicken sandwiches. And this joint right here was probably one of the best Nashville chicken sandwiches I've ever had. It was it was like $14, so I was like, dang, like $14 for one sandwich, you didn't get no sides, like no. But man, I saw why that joint was like this fat and it was schmack and I ended up having the rest for dinner. So if you were in San Antonio, check out 225 Urban Smoke. Definitely, I'm going to put the information down at the bottom, but that joint right here is fire. You definitely want to make sure you uh, you check them out if you like Nashville chicken sandwiches. Um, the next thing that I had, I went to brunch with a friend while I was out there, so that was super cool to be able to hang out um, with the friend with friends who are in the area. And we went to Nola, and it was like a beignet spot, and I had chicken and beignets, and woo hoo hoo. That joint hit. It was like a sriracha, honey, syrupy type of sauce, and the beignet was just right. Like, I would definitely um, head down to San Antonio again to eat at both of these spots. Like, if we got another tournament down there, I'm going. That's where I'm going for breakfast and dinner um, because they were they were fire. So, if you're in the area, check those spots out. Um, again, you know your girl likes to eat, and when I'm traveling. I never like eating at chain spots or places that I can eat. If you've ever played for me, you know that is a golden rule. We do not eat at places that you can get all the time. I've been doing this for forever. And so as a foodie, it just is what it is. The, uh, the girls played pretty hard. We had a great weekend. It was really fun to be able to coach. My voice is, is being able to stick up with it a little bit or keep up with it a little bit more. Um, super fun to be out there. The team is, um, they're growing. They're working hard. We're having fun. And so I'm really excited for um, coming up this weekend as we head to Arkansas. Um, and we're, we're going to get after. We're going to compete. It's live period. And so now we've got recruiters out there um, that's going to watch us play. And so I'm um, really looking forward to um, the effort that we put on the floor this week. And to top off the weekend, I was able to watch my role model, Dawn Staley, win another national championship. She was the first or is the first black woman to win multiple championships, which you know, says a lot, especially for it being 2022, but nonetheless, she is amazing. Um, she's an amazing role model for multiple different reasons, not, not only just being a black woman um, to a black woman um, coach, but um, her faith, 
how she, her integrity, her character, um, how she is. She's just able to be herself and she just, you know what I'm saying? She put a whole bunch of swag and everything and I just absolutely love seeing that um, on TV, on that stage. And then her philosophy, I mean, she talked about just a coaches winning a national championship and making it to that point and it not necessarily being about the national championship game, but being about like whatever your national championship in your life is. Um, and I love that she was able to break that down like um, in her support and her putting on and she understands her platform and her voice um and that to me is you know is everything that i can look for and ask for in a role model i believe she walks her talk and um it's amazing to see and i'm glad to um to see her win that and i look forward to watching them play in person um hopefully next year and eventually doing some work with their program uh god willing that he'll open the door for that to happen so i'm speaking into existence you heard it here first Man, so I don't want to make this joint too long, so we're about to wrap it up. This week, again, it was March 28th through February 3rd of 2022. Um, got some good work done on the dissertation. Um, went and got my body stretched out. Man, if you have an opportunity to go get stretched, please go do it. It is amazing. It'll feel really good for you. Um, had the laptop incident. It is what it is. Accidents happen. Um, <laughs> better luck next time sometimes, but I thank God for the perspective and the finances to be able to move on. Had a cool hoop tournament um, and ate really, really good. And that's it. So in the future, again, I'm going to try to definitely keep these under 20 minutes that's for show um do a little tiktok snippet so make sure you look out for that on tiktok um and then also man let's keep growing let's keep getting after it and i thank you for tuning in if you tuned in and let's go this is installment number two built for this